Now, after having seen the physical properties of metals, try to relate them with those of non-metals. In hardness, we said that metals are generally hard in nature, while non-metals are soft in nature. Now, this does not go without exception. Just like we saw that sodium and potassium are exceptions in case of metals, similarly here also we have a great exception, that is diamond. Now you all know that diamond is an allotrope of carbon which is a non-metal but is extremely extremely hard. In fact this is the hardest and so this becomes an exception. In case of state we know that generally metals are solid in state. Again we had an exception of mercury. And in case of non-metals, non-metals are generally liquid or gaseous in their state or in their nature. Lustre, this is the property that metals have but non-metals do not have. Sonority, again, the property of striking sound is there with metals, not with non-metals. Conduction, of course, we know that metals conduct electricity and heat, non-metals do not. But here again there is an exception and this is extremely extremely important from exam point of view that is graphite. Graphite again which is one of the allotrope of carbon which is a non-metal is conducting in nature while other non-metals are non-conducting in nature. Malleability and ductility are the properties which metals have, non-metals do not have. In case of density, we know that metals have high density, again except few like cesium, sodium, potassium, while non-metals have low density. Talking about melting and boiling point, non-metals have relatively lower melting and boiling point than that of metals. Now here is another exception, rather an interesting one, that is we all know that metals are lustrous in nature, that is they have that shiny appearance. Now this property of metals of having that shiny appearance, if you see any coin like you know a new coin made up of copper, you will find that this is very shiny, but after some time what happens is there is formation of compounds on it. That is, if it is a copper coin, copper will react with oxygen. For example, it will react with most of the atmospheric gases and will form compounds or oxides which will come here on the surface and make it dull. But pure metals are highly lustrous, while non-metals are generally non-lustrous. That is, they do not have that shiny appearance. But again, the exception is iodine. As you can see, iodine is a non-metal but is highly lustrous. It has a shiny appearance. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.